Progress is being made at the Parish and Heimbecker Grain Elevator in Gladstone. General Manager Clint Rogers says they poured the concrete for the elevator recently, but there's still lots of work to be done. What's happening now is, is about a week ago they started pouring this, this elevator and they started at 8 o'clock on a Monday morning and by Friday at 8 o'clock uh, p.m. the elevator is, as you see it, sits there now. Uh, it was a continuous pour. It was one foot an hour. Uh, they could pour 24 hours a day. This pouring was done all by, by basically by hand. There was no pumper truck here. So it was, uh, it was a pretty large job, and again, uh, a lot of people. There was, I think, about uh, 60 guys on the two shifts. He notes the elevator will be accessible for the CN and CP rail lines. He says Gladstone is an ideal location for the facility, citing the proximity to the two rail lines and the distance from other elevators. Um, you, they are now, now they're, uh, they're lifting the, uh, the equipment to the roof. Um, it's only sat for about a week since they poured the roof, so they're, uh, they're again, really doing a, a quick job on this. Um, all that's up there right now is, is the, uh, what's called a distributor, that takes the, uh, there'll be pipes coming off that distributor. Uh, probably in the next week or two they'll be putting the pipes up, and uh, it just takes the grain from, when they get the leg system up, uh, it takes the grain from the office or the driveway to to the different bins up top. So there's still uh, a leg system to go up there that will reach probably another 60 feet above that yet. Um, and they'll probably start on that in the next couple of weeks also. So to our right they're building the bunker here. The bunker storage uh, is 450 feet long by 150 feet wide. Uh, a new, a, a kind of a new design, I guess, for, for the elevator systems. Uh, most of them use, again, a bin system. This one is, is a bunker. Um, oh, a lot of grain. Uh, um, we, we will build our, our own rail line. Um, and the rail line will go from, basically, the, the, uh, from about, the, as far as you can see, to the highway, for another mile and a half uh, to the south here the rail line, because there'll be two lines, one for the CN and eventually one for the CP. Um, and then you can see to the, to the left is all the, the farm supply structure. The one eight bin system is our fertilizer plant. The smaller six bin is our, is our uh, seed treater. And then in between here, which hasn't gone up yet, will be a 150 by 50 foot uh, chemical shed. I mean, again, the more, the more elevators you have, uh, the more competition for price, the more competition for the farmer's grains, uh, again, uh, rail service. I mean, right now, a lot of times in the winter, you fight for space in, in this area. Um, with this kind of space and this kind of rail service, uh, you know, the grain's going to move pretty quick. Guys aren't going to have to be you know, sitting and sitting and sitting and waiting. Uh, Price-wise, again, anytime you've got competition, it affects the price. Anything and, I mean, from here, farmers from here or to the north were forced to go either to Brandon or they were forced to go to pretty well to, well, Portage to deliver their grain. So, you know, anybody within a 20 mile of, of Gladstone or 50 mile of Gladstone, it cuts down their, their freight costs also. Our draw area is going to, you know, again, go from basically St. Rose, Minnedosa, McGregor, um, right through to, to, through to Portage. Yeah. Yeah, all the cement was poured with uh, wheelbarrows. 11 guys with wheelbarrows up there. 24 hours a day. big project and again it's employed a lot of people in the area they try to hire local as much as they can and once we're operational we're going to employ 12 to 14 people again uh, local it's a great economy of boost for portage online news i'm mike bloom